I'm doing a book haul today and a swap and glue and I'm showing you what I'm thinking about doing in advance. Um, the first book is one my son got me for Christmas. It's called the Botanist Sticker Anthology and it's um, full of stickers. And I suppose if you would want to peel them and use them, um, you could recycle the book and collage on the back side because it has this nice paper in the back of the stickers. But I was thinking this was, all of this was so lovely. It's almost an encyclopedia of pictures. I just love it. I'd never seen a book like this before. Um, I'll put the name and the author or publisher in the comments below. And then he also got me a couple of books for my birthday and my um, Christmas called uh, Love for the Love of Paper. And um, he got me the florals and the botanicals. And basically, this is like a paper pack, I guess you would call it that, or journal. But it's got things you can do, like make this envelope out of this paper, or a folding letter, maybe an envelope, I don't know. There's a notebook, paper. Um, and then it's got these two little papers, um, two little booklets in the back. Um, like a little travel diary. I thought that was pretty cool. And it has stickers. And then, it, like it, 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 this is for like succulent paper garland if you want to make this use these stickers to make that. It's got an alphabet. It's got name tag stickers. It's I had never seen these before either. Well here's the Love of Wrapping Paper little booklet. paper in a book <laughs> and then in the very back it has a little pocket with the poster bloom where you are planted one of my favorite um, sayings Mary Inglebright uses that on one of her cards designs. So like here's some washi tape, faux washi tape you can use, tags, cut aparts, another envelope. This one has two books also. Here's something you could frame, cut out, um, take out and frame. And it even shows you how to frame them and, and create a gallery wall. Here's postcards, scrapbook paper, 
more stickers. I thought these were pretty cool books. Here's the Walt wrapping paper. Here's this one called My Herbarium. I guess you like a garden journal. Tags. And then here's the... Oh, it's got a card in it. <laughs> Some envelopes from the card that my son gave me for Christmas. And then here's the poster in the back. That's pretty cool, too. If you didn't want to use it for a poster, I suppose you could cut these, um, fussy cut these apart and um, use them to collage in a book. And then he gave me a, this Creative Lettering and Beyond um, book. It's a Walter Foster book. It had some, it has some, uh, a pencil and some markers. And then the uh, Creative Lettering and Beyond um, book. Looky there, there's Joy. <laughs> Practice sheets. Thought that was cool. And then I had my husband order this book for me. I found a website, and it'll all be down in the uh, co uh, description box below. Um, it's by Johnny Hawkins. It's called Doodle Through the Bible for Kids. But I'm thinking, you know, um, adults would be interested in this too, maybe. Like me. Um, it's got activities like seek and find the hidden letters, writing them out in the order in which found. And then a little... Um, question down here below that's like a, you read the scripture up here and then you answer it down here. Um, I thought that was a good, uh, be a cute little devotional Bible art journaling type of book. And then um, I went to the bookstore and I found this one called Draw Doodle Design. Kind of reminded me of the Wreck This Journal book. Um, has some quotes like this Claude Monet book, um, quote. Color is my day long obsession, joy, and torment. Oh, joy! <laughs> By Claude Monet. Um... It very it reminds me a lot of the wreck this journal. It gives you prompts to draw with. And then I found this book. Oops. Um, called Oodles of Doodles by Suzanne McNeil. And this one's like an, an encyclopedia of doodles that you can do. Um, I've been looking for some doodles. Um, I create um, coloring sheets for um, this to accompany my pastor's um, sermons. He asked me at the beginning of this year, he was going to do a series on grace. And he, he, get, he sent me some scriptures that he's going to use in his sermons and asked me to create coloring sheets each, each week. So sometimes 
I, I have to really think about when I read the scriptures and I have to think about what grace means, which is undeserved kindness and uh, mercy. And, and sometimes I have to think about uh, what it means, pick out a verse that I can doodle. And I think I have a two tutorial um, in a previous video uh, about how I draw it. And then sometimes it's helpful to focus on a noun. And sometimes my doodling skills aren't all that great yet. I know it takes practice and I, I keep doing it every week. And so something like this would be helpful to um, uh, help me f figure out what kind of image to put with the scripture. And although most of these are not what I'd call um, churchy type um, or religious type um, images, it might you know, inspire another idea. So just to go through and look at something. And I do have a, a board on um, Pinterest that helps me some too. But you can't always get on the internet when you want to. And so, um, or I don't always feel like getting on the internet to look it up. Um, so something that I could have on hand would be nice. I thought about um, trying to make my own um, encyclopedia, and, but sometimes even then, you know, if I'm looking up something on the internet, you know, um, you can't always find what you want. And so I thought this would be really helpful to have on hand. So. Annie, so this, so what do you think of this book, Annie? Um, then I found a, um, it's called Folding Carton Style Nomenclature. Possum Patty had talked about paper engineering in a couple of her videos. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is something right up Possum Patty's alley. Um, it shows how to make boxes and envelopes and all kinds of packaging. It gives you measurements. It shows you how to cut. And it comes out and it looks supposed to look like that. Like here, this looks like a... what could be a sliding belly belly band or something, you know, if you wanted to make it shorter. Um, here's like folding boxes. Um, here's like a box tray. Another thing you could do um, is any of your small boxes that you get you know, you know, your throwaway boxes, um, you could open them up flat and then trace around them and have the same kind of um, design, uh, diagram to show, to show you how to um, make your own boxes. But I thought this was pretty cool. And it goes from very simple to, you know, like these kind of designs. Like here's an egg carton type. Or here's a drink box. This is, I know this design is common in, in 
when you're doing some crafting. So anyway, I thought that would be a pretty interesting book to look at.